Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Wharf Report for September 4th. Keep America vigilant. To 23. Red-handed. A Democrat candidate in Mississippi says he has videotape of the county Democrat Party chairwoman bringing thumb drives and ballots into the counting room and inserting them into ES&S machines. After text messages show, she said she would F the candidate on site. Fannie Willis and Alvin Bragg are found to be linked to a massive election fraud and money laundering scheme that we previously reported to you on involving Act Blue. Kevin McCarthy is providing the media and January 6th defendants with limited access to January 6th footage. A Maryland election board changes the rules, forcing people to promise not to use voter registration lists to investigate illegal activities. A federal court rules that the FDA abused its authority in telling Americans not to use ivermectin to treat COVID-19, while another dismisses a case trying to remove Trump from the ballot. And reports reveal that Pfizer tested their COVID booster shot on 23 people before seeking FDA approval. First, to the House Administration Committee, who on Friday released a new rule that will allow January 6 defendants and media outlets access to the tens of thousands of hours of January 6 footage with restrictions. Now, members of the media, personnel from select nonprofit organizations, those charged with crimes related to January 6th, and those injured on that day can request access to the footage. Recording is not allowed and there will be time restrictions. Better than nothing, right folks? Meanwhile on the COVID front, major news. As New York State's Health Department begins recommending masks again to protect against the new so-called variant, reports reveal that Pfizer only tested its COVID booster vaccine on 23 people before requesting FDA approval for it, an approval that was immediately given in September of 2021, and within three weeks, about 8.9 boosters were administered because of it. Last Thursday, Judicial Watch released 58 FDA records related to this and stated, quote, the participants included 11 people aged 18 to 55 and 12 people aged 65 to 85. Of the younger group, there were nine females and two males, eight of whom were white, one was black, and two were Asian. Of the older group, six were female, six were males, and all were white. Great study for safety and efficacy, folks, right? 23 people. It must work. On Friday, a federal court historically ruled that the FDA abused its authority in telling the American public to stop taking ivermectin as a treatment for COVID-19. We previously reported that a group of doctors filed a federal lawsuit in the U.S. Southern District of Texas in Galveston against the FDA and HHS for their unlawful behavior in interfering with their medical practice via their recommendations. Now, U.S. Circuit Judge Don Willett stated in his ruling, quote, FDA can inform, but it has identified no authority allowing it to recommend consumers stop taking medicine. And quote, FDA is not a physician. It has authority to inform, announce, and apprise, but not to endorse, denounce, or advise. The landmark ruling now allows the doctors to pursue other legal action due to the FDA going beyond the scope of the agency's jurisdiction as defined by federal legislation. The judge also stated in regards to the FDA's horse dewormer messaging on ivermectin, quote, Left unmentioned in most of that messaging, ivermectin also comes in a human version, and while the human version of ivermectin is not FDA approved to treat the coronavirus, some people were using it off-label for that purpose. Glory to God, folks. Another win. Next to Maryland, where the Baltimore County Board of Elections has changed the rules to force people to promise not to use voter registration lists to investigate illegal activity. They recently added the following to their non-disclosure agreement for purchasing voter registration lists. Quote, I will not use this data for investigations into an illegal or suspected illegal infractions or violations of voters' behaviors in a specific election. What exactly are they afraid of? How can this be legal? They are forcing people in this NDA to overlook illegal activity in our elections, and it should be changed immediately, as we as Americans have a duty to protect our elections from criminal activity. Speaking of such, remember when we reported that micro-donations in vast amounts were being made to Democrats via Act Blue? 
by mostly elderly people who say they never made such donations? Well, it's now being revealed that Fannie Willis and Alvin Bragg are connected to this massive election fraud and money laundering RICO scheme. Before this video is removed or we receive another strike by YouTube or other government controlled platforms, we're not allowed to say or show you what we're about to or we'll almost certainly be punished for it. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, you know that YouTube had previously labeled our content as quote, harmful to the public and nearly banned us permanently on at least two separate occasions and they continue to remove our content and threaten to permanently remove this channel. So before they can, make sure you never lose us for good. Join us at theworthreport.com where you'll find the rest of this segment and where we can say exactly what we want without the censorship, suppression, or the banning of our account for only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. You can also make a one-time donation using the donation link in the description of this video. And for all the trolls out there who don't like our business model, no need to comment. Just keep scrolling. We clearly have our reasons. For everyone else, your support helps us do what we do. See you there. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.